What's going on guys, Black Scout Survival. And today I got another core module for you and this is the uh, medical version. And this uh, has uh, a few different items for you know medical survival type stuff. You know, Not any type of trauma like gunshot wounds or anything like that, but more of just a medical module to address most things that's gonna happen to you in the wild, you know. Let's go ahead and pop it open. <clears throat> and like the previous ones, you can get this from Precision Rifle Supply. And they have this, these modules are in the Sokoa stuff a lot cheaper than anywhere else I've seen. And they also offer free shipping all across the US. Like all other modules, you get a bag. <clears throat> and it has medical identification so you can quit grabbing dough and all the kit fits in there. Now what I like about this, and once I get done, I'm going to show all the modules together um, once we go through all of them and show you how you can have pretty much a survival kit with all this gear and identified quickly by the grouping. So you can put it all in a bag or pouch, bug out bag or whatever, hike and pack and quickly grab what items you have. <clears throat> so the first thing we got is some flat pack desert tan duct tape. Duct tape is always good. Uh, you can do a lot of things with that in a survival situation. So for the medications, what we have here is we have Dyphen, which is a type of antihistamine, aspirin, Medialyte, which is a uh, oral rehydration or electrolyte packet, Iprin, which is a type of uh, ibuprofen, yeah, ibuprofen, and then some non-aspirin. So those are a few meds you have there, and along with that, you also have some Imodium. You know, you drink bad water, something like that out in the field, that may be something good for you to have. So there's some medications. Now we'll move on to the ointments. You have triple antibiotic ointments, a few of those, and, and uh, hydrocortisone. You also have burn gel, you know, and cuts and scrapes and stuff like that. This is, could be for any type of skin irritations, you know, poison ivy or whatnot. And then burn gel, you know, you're making fires out there in survival situations, so something else to have. Tools, you have a surgical scalpel blade, sterile. Then you have some small trauma shears, which is a nice addition. I like that. <clears throat> now for wound cleansing and sanitation, you have some uh, Santa hands, which is al alcohol-based antiseptic. Then a few Providon iodine prep pads. And then some just alcohol prep pads. Then for bandages, you have a cotton pad, which you can use in conjunction with this duct tape to make a bandage. You have a couple band-aids. And then one large bandage. And then you also have some steri strips. So looking at this, you have a pretty good uh, set of items to address most things you're going to find in the wild, um, you know, uh, survival situation. Obviously, you want to add some type of field dressing and tourniquet, you know, anytime you do anything, especially working with any kind of large uh, knives or axes and stuff like that where you could uh, hit a artery or something like that. But this is just a basic medical module, not a trauma kit. So anyhow, good group of supplies. And like I said, it's just, it's just one of those things of that core kit that you can put all together and have a good complex system. So anyhow, guys, hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you check out this at the link below at Precision Rifle Supply and uh, check out BlackScoutSurvival.com for any more tips and tutorials and gear reviews. And as always, thank you for watching.